Welcome back to the Crafty Club. Yesterday was New Year's Eve and actually today's New Year's Day, so yeah! Happy New Year's, guys. It's 2024. Since it's New Year's, I'm going to be doing a annual tradition that is actually not quite a tradition yet because I've only done it once and so now it will become a tradition. And I'm gonna just talk about my goals and resolutions and the growth that I've had in the past year so that I can see how much I grow and look back at these videos every year and be like, what a cutie. I'm just going to read out um, what my goals were last year and if I reached them, my current standings for my analytics and stuff and just, you know, the whole dealio of what happened this year. At the moment of filming, I have 386 subscribers. I have 87.5 thousand views. Like what? And then finally I have 785 watch hours. That's like... Two hours later. 32 days. Almost 33 days of just watching straight videos of me. That's a month of this non-stop watching all my videos, all everything. Um, anyways, let's get into my resolutions and goals from last year and if i really did achieve those goals and resolutions and let me tell you half of them i did not i'm gonna be quite honest here i did not but hopefully 2024 is gonna be in my year um so last year one of my resolutions was to post every tuesday for the whole year and i was actually doing pretty good the first 10 months of the year i think i only missed three weeks but then in the last like few months around Halloween time, girly ghosted, y'all. I don't know what was going on there. My goal for last year for subscribers was to get 200, and I exceeded that goal by 186. So I think that's done and dusted. Last year, I wanted to get 10,000 views. Girly, once again, I have a total of 87.5 thousand views and 78.7 thousand of those views were just in this 2023 and then i was hoping for 280 watch hours and exceeded by a bajillion million that goal by getting um 785 and 510 of those hours were just in 2023 so i think i really exceeded my goals for watch hours subscribers and mm, what's the other thing views <laughs> um one of my other goals that i wanted to do for 2023 was to do more tutorials and i feel like i did do a lot of tutorials this year i did a whole bunch of how to knit tutorials this year the next resolution that i had for 2023 was throw in extra content in parentheses hashtag shorts um when you have the time and i kind of did that i feel like i did post a lot of shorts especially lately on christmas eve i think i posted 10 shorts in one day just because i was like gotta get some content out you know i did post a lot of shorts this year and those actually i found have gotten me a lot more views and subscribers than my long form videos so i'm gonna try and lean more into a lot of shorts this 2024 next thing is make brico this year i debuted my business called brico crafts and this is my instagram handle and a little qr code if you want to go check me out so scan the qr code go check out my instagram with the handle basically brico craft is my business where i crochet things right now i'm only doing custom whatever you want orders through dm and i did my first ever market and uh it went really well and i sold a lot so big fat yes for making brico Next goal was to do product reviews. And I kind of did product reviews. I reviewed the Mariah Elizabeth paint. But that might have been the only thing. Next was make high, higher quality content. So I kind of did higher quality content, I think. I don't know. 
I had a bajillion goals. I'm just gonna list them all for you because um, I didn't do any of them. Draw a lot more at least once a week and then challenge myself more work on my art style, work on my digital art, get better at portraits, specifically paintings, be more creative and make new original art, use more mixed media. So I did not do any of those things. Sketchbook right here. Haven't even finished painting the cover of it. Maybe I'll do a video about that, repainting it, because I actually hate this cover. Um, anyways, haven't even finished a cover page. I did like this page, this, I did that. Did this girl and this and this one was the content I just did this because I hadn't drawn since summer all of this was summer everything before this was summer so I'm actually really mad at myself for not drawing and I'm going to actually draw so much this year another thing that I failed at was having videos ready and scheduled at least two days before my launch. Around in the summer, because obviously I have more time in the summer because it's summer break, I would usually have way more time to do videos, so I was a little more prepared during the school year. I kind of just would frantically put together a video and then the day of or the day before schedule it to be posted. So yeah, that was definitely not a win. Did not do that at all. Next up, use up all my yarn before buying more, unless I need more for a project. I'm not even gonna answer this with words, I'm just gonna show you. That's not even it. Anyways, Let's move on from my failures this year. Now, let's move into my goals for 2024. Subscriber-wise, I hope that I reach 700 subscribers. If you add 300 to 386, which is how many subscribers I have now, that's almost 700, so I think I could do it. And then views, I'm hoping for 200,000. For watch hours, I'm hoping for 1,500 watch hours which I think is pretty achievable. Now let's get into my resolutions and goals. My first one is to bullet journal. 2022, I started a bullet journal. Let's just say that the last video about the bullet journal that I posted was the March bullet journal video. Three months I lasted with a bullet journal. Um, next thing is post once a week consistently and I feel like I always have pressure, like it's gotta be on Tuesday, I've gotta post on Tuesday. As long as I post once a week, that'll be okay. Next up, we have actually draw this year. I'm actually gonna be an artiste this year. Next up, we have do more arts and crafts type videos, more of a broad spectrum of vids. I also wanna do more painting videos and more craft type videos instead of just all crochet. Um, next up, we have craft more, aka channel inner seven-year-old self. When I was seven, I would always make things for Barbies and I'd make them a whole house out of a cardboard box. My froggy stuff, that YouTube channel, was my holy freaking grail when I was seven. And I wanna, I wanna do that again, you know? I just wanna be, I just wanna craft. Next, I have post lots of shorts because those seem to get lots of views. Next up, um, promote myself on my other social media. I was thinking of also making a Pinterest where I post things on it. Also promote my things on my Instagram so that I can be like, go subscribe to my YouTube channel and yeah. Next up, I have office makeover. We're gonna kind of redo the office or the art space, whatever you wanna call it. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. So the other thing is to make lots of decor um, and bring you guys along the journey. So next up we have keep the office relatively clean and consistently tidy up. I want to be like so clean this year. And lastly, use up lots of scrap yarn. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day and be a cool friend.